I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will have an example where L'Hopital's rule will be applied to indeterminate difference. The example is find limit as x approaches 0 plus for cosecant x minus cotangent x. If I replace x with 0, what do I get? I get cosecant 0 minus cotangent 0. Now cosecant 0 is infinity and cotangent 0 is also infinity. They are positive infinity when 0 is being approached from the right side. So we have an example where we have difference of infinities. Now in such cases, we are not sure whether the answer will be positive infinity, negative infinity or somewhere in between, right? So that gives us indeterminate difference, right? Now, in such cases, we can always apply L'Hopital's rule to solve. And this is how you do it. So, let me rewrite this function as equal to limit x approaches 0 from the right side. Now, cosecant and cotangent, let's write them in sine and cosine. So, we get cosecant is 1 over sine x. Cotangent is cos x over sin x, right? You could write this as limit x approaches 0 from the right side. We can take common denominator as sin x and we get 1 minus cos x. Now here, if I substitute 0, what do I get? 1 minus cos x means cos 0 will give me 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. As far as sin x is concerned, sin 0 is equal to 0. So we have 0 over 0. That's the indeterminate form, right? So we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. So when we apply L'Hopital's rule, we may normally write h somewhere, right? So or sometimes on equal to, we may write h. Okay, so I've been very liberal in just saying it, not writing. Anyway, you should write and form a nomenclature while you're working with such questions. So, finally, what we have here is we have limit x approaches 0 plus, And we'll write down derivatives of numerator. So, let me write ddx of 1 minus cos x divided by d dx of sin x. Now, derivative of numerator is limit x approaches 0 plus 1 is 0. For cos x is minus sin x, so we get plus sin x in the numerator. As far as the denominator is concerned, sin x derivative is cosine x, right? So we get cos x. So we get limit x approaches 0 from the right side, sin x over cosine x. Now if I substitute 0, what do I get? We get sin 0 over cos 0. Sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So we get answer as 0. And therefore, this limit is equal to 0. So that is how you can find limit using L'Hopital's rule. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.